Hey guys, we are here at the ASU. I'm here. Aloha Android Tito's here. And then Ray, he's over there just babbling away, but he's there. All right, we're doing some testing here and the video is about to start now. Hey guys, we are here at the Tempe ASU campus uh, area. We are here by the dorms. We are here by the open space. It looks like the welcome center. So let's do some millimeter wave testing here. We're gonna test all the networks and we're gonna test tablet priority versus phone priority. And yes, we did drop and break the tablet. Yes, I did screw up, but it's okay guys. You know what? Like I say, throw it away and buy another. So let's uh, let's test this. So we're gonna test Verizon millimeter wave first on the tablet. And we're getting six ping one jitter. And we're already at 1.3. We do 1.4. So 1.385. Compare this to um, Verizon uh, regular phone plan. Five ping to bitter. Okay, we're looking at one point one eight three on the down. And the uploads are a little bit better on the phone plan. We are looking at 60.6 .6 on the upload. All right, let's go to T-Mobile. Let's do first the tablet plan, and then we'll go to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, to phone plan. Let's test. Okay, 20 ping, 8 jitter. And this is on their low bad 5G. Seems like uploads are better on the phone. So now let's do on the, on the crack tablet AT&T. This is on 5GE. Okay, we're looking at 35 ping to jitter. Oh, and the upload is really 
suffering. I don't know if it's maybe because I'm using an S20 Ultra that's in a lock version versus an AT&T branded. Maybe that could be it. And then 15.4 on the upload range. So, so far it seems like in the battle between phone and tablet, looks like tablets are winning so far. But on Verizon and T-Mobile, the uploads are better. So, I'm going to just stay tuned guys. I'm going to go to the different... Alright guys, we are here at this, uh, by the library. There you go, there's Tito. There's no, there's no, 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 alright, he's filling me your way right there, no. For Verizon, let's test it out. Tablet. 5 ping one jitter. And a lot of people poo-poo millimeter wave, but this is the reason why millimeter wave is such a good technology. It's just the pings are there. This is this is if you're a gamer, this is what you need. You need sub five pings. If possible. 1.618 down. And then you're looking at 76.8 on the upload on the tablet. And then I do got a couple of phones here for millimeter wave. Let's see if I can get this phone to unlock. Here, give it a second guys. Okay, we're gonna test the Moto Edge Plus. Let's turn up that brightness a little bit. Six ping, one jitter. One point five 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 gigs down. And then the upload is 109 megs on the, on the upload, which that's phenomenal. And we'll go the stream steady and we're streaming. And then we're gonna test it on the fold two. So we are gonna compare all three of these millimeter wave devices to so Moto, Samsung, and Tablet. Okay, six ping, two jitter. Two six three and seventy three point three on the upload, guys. So so far, I'm thinking tablet, Moto, Edge Plus, Fold Two. So cheap, cheap, uh, about the same price. Very expensive for no reason. So this is T-Mobile right here. Let's test out their 5G. Twenty-seven ping nine jitter. One fifty-seven on the down.
this was just a little short video guys just to get you guys the feel here and uh, between uh, different millimeter wave nodes in the area. Tablet, Business Magenta, Plus Military. About a 720p you can get away with. And this is the same plan, but this is on the phone, Magenta Plus Military Business. Reason. I don't know why it's that low. Usually, millimeter waves shouldn't be that low. And then let's test out here on the full two. Seventy-five. All right, then, guys. Just wanted to give you guys some quick testing here in Arizona. Probably make one more video before I head home. Hope you guys have a great one. Remember to check the description down below. The links to the Instagram, Periscopes, Twitter, Facebook, and any small and occasional donations to the channel would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Uh, one more thing I want to add to this video, guys, before we do the official, official, official ending. This is an addition to the ending. This we're doing on the millimeter wave hotspot. We got it on, we got how many devices? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine devices and they're all connected to 4K, 60 frames per second. True 60. True 60. So every single device is streaming on millimeter wave horizon on the unlimited uh, NCGO M2100 uh, plan. So. Just wanted to give you guys a little show here about this to show this is real 5G technology right here. It can stream multi session, multi devices, multi sessions, all in 4K, true 60 frame per second, and it handles it like a champ. All right, then, guys, have a great one.